Hi, it's Rabbi Jeffrey Spector wishing you all a very happy Purim. And so we prepare to read the book of Esther, one of the greatest heroines in our Jewish tradition. I wanted to share with you a beautiful insight into the Megillah by a great female Torah scholar from the state of Israel, a journalist and a student of and teacher of Torah by the name of Sivan Rahav Meir. And she delivers weekly studies in a Torah portion, and you can follow them on YouTube if you speak Hebrew, but she had an amazing insight that I wanna share with you. She said, as we approach Purim, we should be very careful not to live our lives the way that an Amalekite would, not to see the world through Amalekite eyes. What does that mean? Haman, the great villain of the Purim story, was an Amalekite, and he had everything he could possibly want. He was elevated to a great position, second to the king. He had people bowing down to him all over the realm of Persia, and he had wealth, and he had a big family. He had 10 children, and he had a wife. He converses with his wife in the st story of the Megillah, and we see that she is a very supportive spouse. He had it all, and yet one thing he didn't have, Mordechai refused to bow down to him. And despite all of his other great blessings, the Amalekite, Haman, was fixated on that one thing that he lacked, the one thing that bothered him. He, it was more than just seeing the glass half empty. He focused on that tiny black speck on a completely white background. And you can see that that is not the way that a Jew ought to view the world. A Jew should always count his or her blessings and be grateful for what God has given to us. And you can see that in the words of the Megillah. And this is what I want to uh, show you, this insight of uh, Sivan Rahav Meir, who looked at this verse in the book of Esther, where Haman says, yet all this means nothing to me. All of his blessings meant nothing to him every time I see that Jew Mordechai sitting in the palace gate. And to see the world through Jewish eyes means to totally reverse that orientation, not to see what you lack, but to count what as a blessing, everything that you have, to see the world as a, a blessing from God. And you reverse this phrase, Zet inenu li, all of this means nothing to me. If you reverse that outlook completely, and you look at the last letters of each of these four words, Yud, Hey, Vav, hey, the name of God. We become closer to God when we appreciate the bounty and the beauty and the blessings of our lives instead of harping on all the things that bother us the way that the Amalekite Haman did. And so I pray as we celebrate Purim together this year, we will be able to see the world through Jewish eyes and not through the eyes of wicked Haman, and be grateful that even in the challenging times, we are blessed with joy and with love. Simchat Purim, happy Purim, and don't forget to eat some amantashim. <laughs>